Hello everyone, welcome back to another etching experiment. So this time we've got hold of some photo imageable etch resist emulsion. So this acts very much like a screen printing emulsion in that you coat it, you can expose it, and then obviously you can print with it. The only difference with this is that this is obviously resistant to the etch mordant. So hopefully I've got a test strip here of metal. This is just a strip of aluminium and it's four mil and very similar to the previous experiments that we've been doing. Basically I'm trying to get a etch of about one to 1.5 mil in depth. So I've just cut this off, just a test strip. I'm going to coat it in some of the etch resist very much like coating a screen, you can either use a brush and coat it just straight out of the bottle, or you can use a roller. So you would roll it out on a, on a bit of glass and then you can just apply a very thin layer to your metal sheet. I'm just gonna use a brush for this uh, test. And then all you do is you just need a UV light source and you just put your film positive over it and then you expose it. I've just gone through the degreasing procedure on this strip. And that is just a case of sanding it down with a fine grit sandpaper. I use the 600 grit and then just rubbing it with a mixture of soy sauce and whiting powder. Try not to touch it too much with your hands because obviously the oil on your skin will be transferred onto this plate and obviously you don't want that. So just try and touch the edges. Okay, so let's get a brush and we'll give this a coat and then we need to let it dry for about an hour. So remember, this is light sensitive. So you wanna make sure that when you are coating it, you're doing it in a dark room. And also when you are drying it, you wanna dry it in a dark room. If you do screen printing, you'll, you'll be used to the procedure because it's just the same as emulsion. So I really don't need a lot of this and I'm just gonna do it quickly. Okay, so that has been coated now. I'm gonna put it in a dark room and let it dry. Okay, so we've exposed the image now. I'm just gonna add the developer, which is soda crystals into water. So this is a liter of water and 10 grams of soda crystals. And then we're just gonna Drop our exposed plate in there and it says to give it a minute and a half. Image should start to show. Okay, so it's been in there for about 90 seconds now. You can see the image is just starting to come out. Leave in there for a bit longer. Okay, so it's a little bit overexposed and obviously because I'm just painting it on where you get thick areas, it's just a little bit harder to wash out. So. I think when I'm doing the actual image, I'll probably just use the roller method because then you can get a nice even coat. But I mean, it's come out really nice, the bits that are exposed properly. So for a test strip, I think this is fine. I'm just gonna let it dry now for a few hours and then I will be putting it into a fresh bath of copper sulfate. Okay, so that was another unsuccessful experiment. I left it in there for probably about two hours. I've just taken it out, just tried to brush away some of the, the residue left on it and the, the etch has also come off. So it hasn't actually held up. I mean, we've got a pretty decent depth of etch here, still nowhere near enough of what we actually need to get in order to foil stamp it. I think what I'm gonna do next is I will maybe put a few more layers on it and let it dry in between coats, just to maybe build up a thicker layer of the etch and see if that can withhold the copper sulfate. So we're gonna be testing another strip with the photo imageable etch resist emulsion here. I'm just gonna coat it. This time we're gonna use a roller just to try and get a bit more of an even coat on the, 
on the plate. I'm also going to be doing maybe two or three coats of this. So I'm going to let it dry and then apply another coat because on our last test, the etch resist was actually worn away in some areas. I want to try and build up maybe a few more layers and hopefully that will give it a little bit more resistance against the acid. So we're just going to, we really don't need a lot here because this is obviously for a very, very small test strip. So I'm just getting a, a thin layer on the roller and I'm just applying it onto the plate. I do this two more times and I let it dry for about two hours in between each coat. I haven't bothered showing the process because there's not really much need. Now I'm just placing the negative onto the plate. I'm just clamping it down in my very rudimentary exposure setup here. I'm giving it a exposure of four minutes and this is just 10 grams of soda crystals and some warm water. It's just the same as, as the previous experiment in the video. I decided to get a bit more of a stiffer brush to get off the unexposed emulsion. Most of it come off good. There was just a few little areas that I used a very small screwdriver just to ping off. And here is the, the final piece. So now I'm just gonna let it dry outside in the sun and that will also act as the post cure stage as well. This is from the previous etch, but it's still got quite a nice blue color to it. So I think uh, it should hopefully be able to etch away this. Okay, this has had quite a long etch now, probably close to three hours, and it's not really getting that deep. I've probably etched maybe half of a mil, and it's starting to actually undercut the, the resist here. So I don't want to undercut it because I don't, I want to try and actually see if I can stamp with this without actually losing any of the, any of the detail of this shape. I'm kind of struggling to make these dyes because it's either the, the etch resist doesn't last long enough or the fact that I'm trying to do such a deep etch that you just start undercutting and you actually start just simply losing the, the detail of the design. So I'm still not too sure how I can go about doing this, um, but we'll try and stamp this anyway and see what we can get. Before we can do printing, we need to remove the etch. So I've just got 30 grams of soda crystals, very hot water, Leave it in there for a few minutes and just get a stiff brush and just work at it and it should just come off eventually. You can see there it just kind of comes off in one big section. And once it's off it's ready to test. We've finished the tests and looks like we've got the same problem as usual in that the etch isn't deep enough so it's picking up some of the edges of the print here but again you know it does show that it's kind of possible i've got quite a quite a nice detailed print here if you look up close though you can look at the crispness of the lines and they are slightly jagged as you can see on the actual die and that's just from the etch being too long and it just kind of loses the detail. And obviously we've got some undercutting as well, as we mentioned. So we kind of lost some of the some of the detail in the arm and head of the of the foil. So the biggest problem is probably the undercutting. I think from this experiment, the liquid photo resist holds up long enough. I didn't really have a problem with that. But the undercutting just means that you can't really do small intricate designs because it will just eat away at the size of the, of the design. And we'll have what we had with our first experiment with that grid design, you know, the, the detail is almost completely lost. So I'm really not sure what to do from here. So it's going to need a little bit more research. If anyone's got any sort of experience with this, I'd greatly appreciate any kind of input. You can put it in the comment section, but that is it for now. I will end it there.